So we recently obtained a 1971 Series 2A Land Rover, and it was running great when we got it. Um, but one day while running normally in the garage, uh, we pressed the high beam switch that is on the floor, um, a foot switch, and it shorted something and the car slowly wound down to a stop. And uh, we checked and there was a blown fuse. There are only two fuses on this car. So one of the fuses was blown. Whenever we try and start it now, it just blows that same fuse over and over again. So there are um, two choices, it appears, for what the problem could be. One is the voltage regulator, and the other one is the ignition coil. And this uh, will just be a few videos while we try and troubleshoot which one it is and how to test them uh, in a cost-effective manner. We have this repair manual uh, that came with the car and it had handwritten notes in it for how to test the voltage regulator. So here's a photo of the notes and the voltage regulator and uh, it indicates that the if you test at um, posts F as in Frank and D as in dog on the voltage regulator there should be some resistance between D and F. If there's zero resistance in the voltage regulator, um, it says should be bad rather than could be bad. Um, so we're gonna test that now. Okay, so uh, first we have to zero out the resistance and see what standard resistance is on it when they're just touching and it, that's 0.6. Now we'll go ahead and touch them to the two posts. Let's see what reading we get. And we're getting 0.7. Um, so basically the exact same reading. There might be a slight bit more resistance, but I think it's negligible. So according to our notes in here, it looks like the voltage regulator may have been broken by that short with the high beams. So I suppose we'll start there. However, next video, we'll test the ignition coil just as a precaution and see if we can figure out whether or not that's bad as well. Thanks for watching.